Right, we're back in the Meander River this morning. It's an area I fished uh, probably two weeks ago. Uh, water levels dropped down to 57 centimetres now, which is about four or five inches lower than last time I was here, which is better. I just had a cast up towards that um, river bank there, a long cast up there, and brought the Aglia Furia back down there and had a lovely brown of about um, three quarters of a kilo come up behind it and just nipped at the tail end of the spin of it. Just, yeah, it wouldn't grab it. So it was a good sign, first piece of water I fished and uh, see a trout so early. And let's hope this is going to continue. Yeah, I fished my way right up through that water as far down as you can see. Up to here. Didn't see a sign of a fish apart from when I first hopped in. Just had a follow off, off that other river bank. I went back to the Aglia Furia. Uh, trout just come out, sat behind it, followed it, wouldn't touch it. So now I've, I've gone back to the little hard body lure. And uh, I, just, I may just fish up to that next fast water. Uh, but I don't get nothing there. I'm out, I'm out and on my way to the creek. The river bottom here in the meander is an absolutely poor, disgusting condition. So, yeah, I got felt spike felt soles on here and I'm having trouble trying to stand up. Most cast was the lure here in this water. It would just um, lure touches the rock, it just fouls up, you walk around. Um, it's just so silted and so much brown slime and algae on it. Um, yeah, it's disgusting. So, yeah, pristine waters. The waters love beautiful and clear, but the river bottom itself is not in uh, what I'd call good condition. Uh, well, I'm now fishing the creek. It's pretty dirty in places. It's uh, pretty murky. It, I just flicked that off us at Riverbank now using the little um, hard body lure, a little atomic hearts in a ghost, ghost gill brown pattern, swinging around in front of the camera there. And yeah, I just had a hook up there for a medium sized brown. But, uh, yeah, he tossed it. Uh, the, the water's very low up further. This is the deepest part of the water where I'm in now, but she's very low up further. But, um, I'll, have, I'll give it a little while here. I didn't fish that full section of the, the Meander River. I just couldn't stand slipping and sliding and hardly a sign of a fish. So and, uh, from here I may head into a weekend. I fish the Mersey River on the way home as well. I'm making my way back out of, the, out of the creek. As you can see, this is, um, there's hardly any flow in it. It's in poor condition. And there's big lumps of... Um, muck floating down along the top of the, all over the top of the water. Uh, it's usually, usually pretty clear this water here too. And um, yeah, hardly seen it. I had that one hit early and that's been it. When I first got here to the creek and so it's off to uh, Mersey River now, slipping and sliding in that river. And maybe may get a trout there if we're lucky. Oh, back at the car from the creek. Now uh, look, one hook up there, at least that was a start. The man, the river, nothing. I had the little, that big trout follow it up the first, on the first couple of casts when I hit the meander, and nothing after that till later on when I threw the match uglier back in the water again further up and had another follow here. Had a hook up on the hard body, a little ghost gill brown pattern lure. Um, Never saw another fish after that, and the water's low and dirty, so now we're off to Regina to uh, have a crack at the Mersey. <laughs> Touch wood, third time lucky, maybe. Alright, we're in the Mersey. 25 to 1. And, uh, it's a nice... Um, Bubble line run right along the opposite river bank. I'm just going to make my way over there a bit further. River bottom here is uh, not much better than the Mersey. The uh, meander it's in poor, pretty poor condition too. It's all silted up to buggery. Anyway, water's clear. We'll um, continue on. Hopefully, we'll get a brown or maybe even a rainbow. Any luck today? And there we go. We've got our first fish of the day on. Took a rainbow rapala. Lovely, lovely solid fish, close to 500. And uh, that was a casting up under that 
under that uh, dead wood there, and a little bubble line there, and that no sooner hit the water that this um, trout grabbed it. So I'll get him off. So we're just reviving this trout now. He's a bit sluggish to start with, but I've held him in the water for a couple of minutes now here and he's swimming beautifully. So I'll just uh, off she goes. Beautiful. Finally, the drought has broken. One thing I've noticed here is a lot of insect life here. There's some little midges, there's uh, caddis moss hovering around and under those, uh, just above that bubble line as well. And it looks like a few little duns around too. So we may, um, may get another trout or two before the day's over. Spotted a nice big fat trout sitting down there in that water. Just moved into there. I think it's one before I was out in the water before and I cast into here and I had a couple of follows for him and just sat behind it, wouldn't touch it. So I've changed my lure to a long, skinny, darker colour one now. Uh, I think it's just called a wolf. So we'll just try that and uh, Hopefully we'll pick him up. No, oh, he's just taken off. Oh, I've got a little brown on here. Nice little fish he made jump off. Got him on the uh, ugly furia. I'm starting to get up in a bit of fast, faster water here. So it was just a cast right to that river bank. I just uh, did the uh, cast and drift there. And yeah, no sooner I left the river bank, started to drift with the with the foes. Um, I've taken a grab out of it. There's legal sized fish, lovely colours. No red in him, hardly any red. A few faint red spots in him, and that's it. So we'll get him off and uh, put him back in the drink. Alright, uh, there you go, little fella. He's gone. Oh, just on another little brown here, another big fish. Probably a little bit smaller, if not the same size, close to the same size. Ah, oh, it's a little rainbow. Ah, oh, nice. There's only just wondering about rainbows. I used to, I used to fish this fast water up through here, and uh, yeah, be full of rainbows. And finally, this little fellow was taken off the, right off that other river bank during the cast and drift. So we'll, um, we'll get him in. No, he's a little brown, actually. <laughs> There's a rainbow at first, but he's a little, uh, just a little brown. So we'll let him go. There he goes. I could have sworn it was a rainbow and I had it when he turned side on there, in that, right in that water. Oh, anyway, he's gone. He's all good. Oh, I should have probably fished here um, right from the start early this morning. I had to go and do fortnightly shopping. I didn't leave home until 20 past nine in the end to go, to go trout fishing. And, um, yeah, I should have probably done the shopping tomorrow because it's bad weather coming in and come up here at 7 o'clock in the morning. Probably would have done a lot better. A bit of cloud cover coming back now, so it may help now with the sun off the water. I don't go that much further. The fish bit of, probably another, I don't know, 400 metres of fast water. I'll fish that and then call it a day. I uh, just hooked and lost a little brown trout here. No fault. I'm trying to hold on the line and get the camera out to video it and uh, jump around toss the toss the spin um, I've got under a uh, ugly fluoro and a brown trout pattern now. I've had I had a couple of follows from some decent browns just down in that water there. But uh, yeah they just come up behind it wouldn't take it so I thought well time for a change of lure again. Oh, I'm back at a cast 20 to 4. So it's taken me um, Good 20 minutes to get back here, walk back, walk back here, and um, just three, three, three browns landed. One straight up first up there early, early when I hit the Mersey. Um, took the hard body, the, the um, rainbow pattern hard body, and then it was ages before I got up further and went to, um, went back to the Agli Furia, and I got, got them, I got, um, 
got them on that, the two on that, and then I hooked and lost um, one on a little uglier brown, a fluoro brown pattern one, and then I lost another, lost, uh, went to a bigger uglier brown, fluoro brown, and hooked and lost two more, so yeah, could have been better. Fast water was the part where I got the other browns, so, uh, and the water temp was 10 degrees here, so that's the, that's the difference from the meander, sitting on five to between five and six degrees to 10 degrees. And it was 18 degrees here, it was an absolutely magnificent day here, so I should have come here first. So, and like I said earlier, third time lucky, and it was. So, till next time, tight lines.